Hey guys, my name is Mark from Jazz Guitar Lessons .net. So there's a few topics that come around a lot in the YouTube comments and also through my private students. So string gauges, uh, flat wound strings versus the others, etc. I'll just give you my own two cents. Uh, let's start a debate. Let's let's blow. Let's put YouTube on fire. So here's the thing. For me as a player, I love to go either full electric. So this is an electric, but of course it's like semi-hollow, it's really interesting. All information about this instrument in the description below. But also I love to go to full, you've seen my nylon string, which is a Takamin ES130SC, I believe, which is uh, over 20 years old. So I like to go either the full electric route or go nylon string. So I do have a couple of acoustic guitars lying around like dreadnoughts, like really the steel string kind, but I'm I'm not big on those. I, I have a hard time getting a good sound and improvising on them and quite frankly, uh, they're hard for me, so when I want to like uh, save my energy, I will grab this one. So string gauge, what do I use? There, there's a website page or blog post where I said this is the gear I use, right? Like including my Blues Junior and all the, these things. And this is the newest uh, acquisition, it's only a few months old. The thing is, those are 10, the string gauge is 10, right? And people, I think, go really wild with trying different string gauges and I have to, to be completely honest my take on it is well what are you gaining as far as sound after you go to like 11 or 12 past that I think you're just having your guitar being harder to play period uh, I'll just show you also what what strings are used so the Strandberg came equipped with those which are uh, the Dario NYXL which are a bit brighter to my taste also th those are frets that are stainless steel fret which have a harder edgy pop so my tone volume my tone knob is pretty much always rolled down all the way and I control this through my amp as well so I think I'm gonna stick to 10 gauge 1046 however on the other guitars like my Godin and my blue one my uh, my pseudo Telecaster it's a GNL I use the the Dario 10.5 it is a half gauge that's a, a really good kept secret in guitar and the half gauge is good and it's just nickel wound so a bit less bright than this uh, this is more like shredding and metal, I, I think. I never really use those. And I just wind them up with regular good old nickel wound string and I roll off the tone, which segues into my next next topic. Uh, flat wounds, do it or not. Personally, I would say not. Uh, there was a point where that was all that was available as far as guitar strings. And of course, if you flunk for a Benedetto, and you, sh you should put flat wounds on it, of course, or an L5 or an Emperor. Like, of course, of course, or a... Uh, heritage or you know of course you want to go that route personally i have tried flat wounds on my semi hollow on my old gibson that i don't have anymore and on a few other guitars and i just found i lost in tone so here's my two cents and that's where <laughs> so i'm gonna start a debate uh, a big uh, a big issue with people on youtube it's like i i just don't believe you get that much out of using flat wounds because there's just less overtones they're already dead. That's what the, the guy at the music store told me when I was 16. It's like, do you want to buy those? Like, they're already dead. They don't sound good. And then I played them and I'm like, okay, like, when you get these nickel strings or these bright strings, you play a chord. Ah, let me have some volume. So you play a chord, now I'm fully bright. So you have all, you have all the, the overtones. And what I like is then, then you can roll off the tone yourself and go, I want less. Tone, roll off, tone. That, it's too sparkly, just roll down your tone a little bit. Right? So you can still, and I'm still just playing with my fingers on electric, so it's the same if you use the pick, then I will pick something and go, yeah. Oh, it's a bit bright. Less bright. All right, so I will personally just control it. So here's my point. Because of my personal background and ears, I'd rather have all the overtones available and turn it down myself than not have them at all. And the point is with the flat wounds, it seems that you just don't have them at all. That's the whole point. So my point on string gauges, don't go too hard. Don't don't go too hard. It's not, it's not worth it. Uh, my point on flat wounds, 
it's a matter of preference. You have the four going flat ones, try the regular nickel, then try the half rounds maybe, then you get a bit less bright. You know, there, there's a, a wide variety and people say, oh, it's jazz, I can't play my nylon string. Just sit down with a good Lenny Bro album or Ch um, uh, Char Charlie Bird album and you go like, oh, uh, or Lionel Luoke, Lu Luoke. It's like these guys play nylon string and they play jazz and it sounds tremendous. And Ralph Towner and, and these guys. So I'm like, yeah, you can do whatever. And you don't have to play bossa nova and play Brazilian because you're playing on a, an island string, right? Uh, so on that note, last thing, uh, I did experiment with picks a lot. I tried several brands of like teardrop picks, larger, larger, wider, etc. Uh, I experimented with tone placement, how to structure the wrist and everything. And I wound up again going with these uh, Dunlop Jazz 3s, the red one. I have, I have a little a little vase, like this is like for garlic butter or something. I have this on my desk so they don't fly around everywhere. Plus I used to have a cat. The cat has been adopted, but she would play with those. So I have black ones, but I don't like the tone as much. Maybe it's just between my ears or <laughs> maybe it's just mental. But the red ones give me my signature attack and tone and I feel really comfortable. I feel really at home with the, these red picks for comping, for chord melody, for hybrid. So that's sort of the, the detour. And recently I bought a really uh, cheap, um, uh, hands-free, wire-free, wireless system. You can still feel the delay a little bit between the app, but since my app is like three feet away from me, it's not that bad. And I'm not um, getting caught up in my... Uh, in my cables while I teach. And now I'm sitting on this, this stool. It's a D'Addario stool actually, but sometimes I have my armchair with my students. So no cables, that's really a great way to go about it. So on that note, I will let you go. You guys let me know if you have any questions either about the instrument or if there's anything about gear and how you've experimented with string gauges and how you're going bigger and smaller. Uh, I wouldn't go any smaller than 10, like 1046 is pretty much like the, the minimum. Uh, but then with the picks, with the flat ones, etc., everybody's going to get a different opinion. I just shared mine. I hope you enjoyed it. So again, my name is Mark from jazzguitarlessons.net and I will see you soon in the next video.